it's a tricky thing um, talking about twins because there are a lot of terms that people use out there. Um, I mentioned the different kinds of models. When you talk about digital twins, people are gonna say digital twin and virtual twin and uh, product twin and factory twin and all kinds of things. And some of that can seem a little bit academic in terms of an argument. It's you know just the finer details and let's focus on what it's gonna do for us. <clears throat> True, but the nomenclature can be important because of the questions behind it, right? Why are people trying to define the nomenclature? Um, why are they arguing over terms? The clarifying questions are relevant in terms of understanding what you're building and how it relates to the other things you might need. For example, does the twin that you're interested in exist before you've ever made any physical instances? Or does it exist after you've made one and it represents that physical instance? How many physical instances does it represent? Does it represent a whole batch of them or all the ones you made in the month of February? Or does it represent one specific physical instance? Does it represent a product or a process? I mentioned that, that earlier. That is gonna have a lot of difference in what you call it. How does data flow between the digital side and the physical side? Does it flow from the physical to the digital and you just have this kind of model of your physical? Does it flow back from the digital world to the physical world and the, the digital thing is controlling the physical thing? And then finally, does it represent the, the work, the result, the thing you care about, the product maybe? Or does it represent the workshop, the process of getting there, or maybe not just the process of getting there, but all the tools and equipment and systems and maybe the whole factory used in delivering the product? So all of these kinds of questions are gonna get us to some specific terms. And I wanna take us through a few of them and I'm gonna highlight a couple of places where I think the, the differentiation terms matters. Um, I'll leave this up and people can certainly read it later. But in these first couple, I wanna differentiate the digital twin from the virtual twin. <laughs> so in my view, the digital twin is related to a physical instance. So you have to have created some of your product, the physical instantiation of it, before you can have any digital twins because there's one digital twin for each one that comes off the manufacturing line. The virtual twin, you could have that long before you ever make the first one. It's, it's really a prototype, right? And so you notice my terms in parentheses here, I just wanna, to, to give you some reference point, I am pulling some of that from the people that, in, in my view, really started this digital twin concept and talking about it, and that's NASA. Um, I, I don't wanna get into history lessons because I'm not uh, any great student of the history of the digital twin concept, but I do believe NASA really pioneered a lot of these, these concepts, and they used terms like digital twin prototype, digital twin instance, and digital twin aggregate for a reason, right? Because they wanted to differentiate and talk about different things there. So I think it's important to note the difference between virtual twin and digital twin, even if you call them something different. I think that's a key differentiator. Another one is I wanna make sure people are thinking about the difference between a digital model and a virtual twin, right? And, and I would differentiate those by saying the virtual twin is a composite. It's a holistic view. It's the multifaceted type of thing where you're looking at it from a lot of different domains to really represent your product. Whereas digital model could be any one aspect of it. It could be very focused. Let me throw in another set of terms here to, to kind of complete some of the terminology that I think is important. I want to highlight the bottom two on the left, product twin and process twin. Really already touched on that, but I think it is important to differentiate because uh, I always think of product twin first, but there are a lot of folks who think of process twin first. And if you don't, if you're not clear about it when you're speaking to people, you could be on a totally different page and not even realize it. I also want to talk about those bottom three. How do process twin and product twin come together or something that a lot of people are talking about actively now, a digital factory twin. So I think a digital factory twin is a combination of all of the digital product twins of all the equipment in your factory, along with the digital process twins of how that equipment behaves, how it operates, what work it performs, how those come together in a more complex system of processes. All of that together is what you need to build a twin of your digital factory. That's pretty, it's pretty heady, that's a pretty big deal, but there are a lot of people who are talking about this now. Other terms that are worth just 
knowing that people are talking about digital shadow, digital surrogate, uh, digital generator. A lot of that has to do with the flow of information between the physical and the digital world and, and giving labels to those. So I, I'm not uh, personally, uh, you know, a real stickler for a lot of this, but I think it is important to remember that there are different concepts here, regardless of what you call them. 